If you're a developer and you want to put IPFS inside of your web application, but you're not exactly sure how to do that, I've got the solution for you. Hi, my name's Steve and I'm with Pinata. And today I'm going to show you something new that we've just made called Create Pinata App, which spins up a very easy to use Next.js template with the Pinata SDK built in in a secure way. Let's go check it out. Now, before we get started, there's two things that I'd recommend go ahead and grabbing from the Pinata app before going any further. So in that app.pinata.cloud, once you sign in, you can use a free account. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and go to API keys and click new key. From here, I would recommend just go ahead and doing uh, admin keys and give it a name, call it Pinata app. But of course, you can scope the keys if you'd like to. Once these are created, you're gonna see the API key, API secret, and the JWT. Go ahead and copy all this information and keep it somewhere safe. And we're gonna use this longer JWT later. And yes, this key will be deleted. Don't try anything funny. The other thing you wanna do is go ahead and copy your gateway URL. You can do that by going to gateways here and you can see the gateway here. Just go ahead and copy that. And we're gonna put that inside of our env file later. So back in our terminal, we wanna go ahead and run the command that's gonna install the Pinata app. So we can do mpx create Pinata app. And then go ahead and give it a name. We'll just call it Pinata app. We can select if we want to use TypeScript or JavaScript. I'm going to use TypeScript. And we can decide if we want to use Tailwind CSS or not. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to install everything. And we can go ahead and do CD into Pinata app. And if we do npm run dev, you'll see that we're actually going to go ahead and pull up the server running next. Click on this. And here is our fun template. Very, very nice. Now, if we open up this project in our text editor, there's gonna be a couple things that we wanna edit and look around and see how things are working. First thing we wanna do is go ahead and open up our env file. There's an env.sample, we can click on this. We can see here we have the pinata jwt and the gateway URL. So go ahead and be sure to paste those in as such. So the pinata jwt looks something like that. And our gateway is going to look something like HTTPS and then paste in that URL we had earlier. So it looks something like this. Save that file. Once we have our env set up like this, we need to actually change the name. Very important. So we open up sample and we're going to rename this to local to make sure this works. And now if we leave the editor or just go ahead and spin up our server again, we can actually interact with the application. Now that we have our app open, we can actually click on upload click on a file to upload it, see the CID, and we can actually view the file like this. It's gonna open up in a new tab with our gateway with our file. Very, very cool. So what's really cool about this template is that we're actually utilizing the API routes built in with Next.js and Vercel to keep the API keys secure, which is not something that usually happens with Web3 applications. And so you can see here in this upload file function in the front end, we have a URL call to API slash files. So if we open up that file at api slash files.ts, we can see here we actually have a two function set up here. We have one that does a save file, which is going to pin the file to IPFS using the stream that we are passing in to that API call. And then we actually have the API handler doing the post and actually uploading it. So overall, this should give you a nice grasp of how to set up a web application with IPFS where you're able to pass the files from the front end and react next JS template to a back end that's secure and uploading them with the SDK. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, have a good one.